All right, everybody. Last night was the season finale of Sister Wives season 18. Can you believe Mary found her voice, sweetie? Mary found her voice. Um, and did we see it coming that Mary left Cody before Janelle? Wait a minute. Am I, am I, you guys are such web sleuths that, that listen to my podcast and also, you know, are obsessed with sister wives like I am. So the way season 18 ended last night with the season finale, although the one-on-ones are coming up, we'll get to that because people are not happy with the host. Um, but last night with the sister wives finale, I mean, I thought the way that it like came to light was that Janelle left Cody first and then Mary, but certainly the way it's portrayed on season 18, it is explosive last night because Mary leaves Cody and Cody at the end. I mean, <laughs> isn't this like Shakespearean comedian, like comedy, I, the lines that he comes up with the very final scene, he goes, I hope you find peace, Mary. Cause I have, you know, <laughs> like, what this douche, douche. <laughs> Oh my God. Um, last night, the big scenes were, of course, we start out the uh, the episode being tortured with going, oh, cripes, here we go again. Rehashing, is Mary going to stay with Cody? Is Mary going to leave Cody? They're all going to get together. They're trying to figure out the ownership of Coyote Pass. Then we switch to Janelle and Christine. They have one last day that Christine is with her brothers visiting them and took Janelle along the way. And then we come back to, by the way, Coyote Pass is beautiful. This gorgeous like mountain area in Flagstaff, Arizona, looking out over this gorgeous mountain where they were all supposed to build their homes. And, you know, but by the by, it ain't working. Um, so Cody, you know, we opened the scene last night. We opened the episode with Mary explaining that throughout this process of kind of leaving Cody not leaving Cody very recently, he essentially led her on and was like, Oh, we can figure out, we can make this work. And she's kind of like, make this work. How like the same old, same old crap that you've been doing. Um, you know, 32 years together. It was very fascinating. Mary brought up the catfishing incident again. Isn't that fascinating to you guys? It's fascinating to me that Mary has brought the catfishing incident up, which happened in 2015, a couple of times this season. And why has she done that? You know, my own personal theory is she wants to vindicate herself from the catfishing incident. If you guys aren't familiar, I'm sure all of you are. Basically, this woman online pretended to be a man. Um, they like Mary sent like sexually explicit text messages and some photographs. And then this man turns out was a woman who ended up writing a book about catfishing. Mary Brown outed Mary. It was embarrassing. Right. And I think Mary, it's still a soft spot for Mary. And she's still really hurt by it because she brings it up last night in saying that she and Cody's marriage was over long before the catfishing incident, long before the catfishing incident. She wants us to know. And, um, you know, I think she wants to be vindicated from that. And I'll say, I feel like last night she got vindication everywhere I go online. Everything that I've heard from you guys is that Mary found her voice. She told, you know, the very famous line from last night. Now I need to learn how to get along with my ex-husband's wife insinuating Robin that, you know, she and Robin are not that close. The other big line from the night last night was Robin saying to Mary, I've always advocated for my sister wives. I've always advocated for you. And, you know, everyone's like, really, girl? Sobbing, when you been when have you been advocating for these chicks? Okay. You hadn't even talked to Mary for like a year, you know, prior to them all filming that season. So anyhow, um, you know, Mary kind of sets the scene again about how you know, th their marriage has been over for a long time. Uh, Mary seems like, you know, she didn't know that he, I guess this was the shocking part too. I believe last night, what was revealed is Mary really didn't even know how Cody felt about her, meaning that Cody was like totally done with her. And except for that scene, like until she watched his confessional in season 17, did anybody else feel that way? When I say that, I mean, to me, she was like, yeah, I realized like last year, he, he wants me out. He's not interested in me. And he finally said it 
on the confessional in season 17. Isn't that shocking? Like that's how Mary really found out that Cody was not interested in her. Also, I have a question. You know, we we learn that, right? We learn how Mary finds out that Cody wants nothing to do with her. And in season 17, he does, he says, you know, if Mary wants to move on, it's all right with me. You know, he wants her out. Christine and Janelle, not so much, but obviously they turn out to be out. Then we flash um, forward, a lot of flashbacks in uh, season 18 of Sister Wives, but we flash to Christine and Janelle with her brothers on a hiking trip in Utah. And I kind of wonder, is there a Utah accent? Is there a Utahian accent? Because JC, who is like Janelle's sister mom, uh, sorry, Christine's like, step sister mom she kind of has like the same accent doesn't she as janelle and christine i feel like there's a utahian accent um the other thing, they get into stockpiling food in their religion when they're like talking on that walk and that hike and how janelle and christine were huge stockpilers of food and <laughs> and when cody goes yeah when Christine left, she left us with refrigerators and refrigerators full of meat and cans and of food. And, you know, we're paying to store it. Uh, hello, donate it to a food bank, you dumb dumb. I mean, you know, I mean, like, what? He was genuinely perplexed with what they were going to do with the hundreds of pounds of food that, that Christine had left them. They talk about in their religion that they've obviously had an awakening because in many religions, it's always, the world is always ending doomsday. It's, it's not ending. Do I believe in Christ a hundred percent, but I don't think that Christ had an, like a, a, a finale. I don't. Um, so the food storage stockpiling, I mean, I guess in a way they were prepared as Janelle said for the pandemic, because when the pandemic struck, she had toilet paper. Okay, fair enough. But I mean, a pandemic happens what, once in a hundred years. So, okay, my kids in like 30 years have extra toilet paper. We also see where Christine and Janelle are hanging out with her brothers and her brothers bring up what happened with Cody, that they were not aware that she had left Cody. They didn't know what happened with the demise of the relationship. And doesn't it always, you know, you've got to be attracted to your partner to keep it hot, to keep a marriage successful. You have got to be sexually attracted to them, whether they're 28 when you meet them or whether they're 78. If you don't want that dick or he don't want that P and that V, it ain't going to be on and popping. And the lion she always comes back to. Now you're talking, I mean, they had to have a lot of shit going on right? But the line she remembers the most is Cody telling Christine that he was not attracted to her. He wasn't into her physically, sexually. And that was it. Like, damn, you got to have that first and foremost, right? Like to hell with the finances, his shady finances, them moving state to state to avoid them polygamy laws. <laughs> the polygamy police were hot on their heels. They were moving to Vegas and Arizona and back to Utah. Uh, well, anyhow, she didn't give a rip about any of that or even how much he was into Robin. It was once he told her he wasn't into her physically and sexually, she's out. I don't blame her. Thank God she found David Woolley. In fact, the tease, the end of this episode was so good because we are going to see David Woolley on the one-on-one. -on -one. The first like real sit down interview we're going to get with David Woolley. We're going to hear his voice, hear how he feels about Christine. I mean, what a fantastic tease at the end of this episode. Unbelievable. So Christine tells her brothers that was the big catalyst, right? But also that, you know, Cody wasn't a good partner. Uh, he has a lot of problems with his, you know, his children, yada, yada. The other thing too is, can we just all like, I mean, Janelle's already left, so this is a mute point. But I mean, Christine playing this game of like, well, I'm not, you know, I'd, I'd support Janelle whether she stayed or went. Bitch, no, you wouldn't. You want her to leave. It's so you are on campaign. Adios, Cody. I'm not saying that's wrong, but like we do have a bias here. Okay. We deuces on the Codemeister. We are done. They had a wonderful visit. You know, Janelle isn't still, again, is like on the fence. And really it's her finances that keep her with Cody because she has nothing in her name. Now, I did find it interesting last night. It was reiterated that 
almost all the properties with the exception, I actually, I think they even said Christine's home in Arizona. Robin's name was on the deed. Robin's name is on the deed of Coyote Pass, unlike the other women. These women are screwed. If And Robin's home, of course, she and Cody own it together. Now, I got to say, I got to say, and I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I do have some empathy for for Robin. And I know you guys are like, nobody has any empathy for the Robin. But I I do. I really, really do. Um. So anyhow, you know, Cody, that was kind of the big thing. Christine totally pressuring Janelle to leave. This is the scene that Christine and Janelle are visiting her brothers, right? Um, she completely wants Janelle gone. Then we come back to the huge finale of this show. I thought that the final scene was so good. I thought it was worth all the flashback scenes that we've had to put up with, the boringness of this season on and off. Because again, we find out in this final scene, like Mary gets her voice. She left Cody before Janelle, even though the way, I don't think it hit the press that way. And we get one hell of a great tease for the one-on-one. Um, all right, I want to get into why I do have, like, a, I, I do, I don't know, I have a little empathy for Robin. I just do. I, I feel like Robin believes her own story. I do. But I do want to thank one sponsor. You guys, thank you for everything that you do and for frequenting my sponsors. This is my full-time job. So every time you purchase from a sponsor, it helps this show. If you're in the DC region, today's Sponsor is Dr. Will Neem from Horizon Fibroids. 80% of women will have a fibroid by the time they're 50. It can cause long periods, heavy periods, weight gain, infertility, even to the point that you have so much blood loss that you're getting iron injections. Make your appointment today at horizonfibroids.com. They have locations in Rockville, Gaithersburg, and Frederick, Maryland, and they accept almost all insurance. Horizonfibroids.com. Um, look. Robin's pain, like, you know, Robin, when when they're sitting around talking about Coyote Pass, this, the, first of all, the division of Cody Pass, which we see in that final scene where Christine traded the money that she got from her house in Flagstaff, Arizona, where she lived away from them. She got that money in exchange for giving up all her rights to Coyote Pass. Like, you have it. And people always say this, you know, I see it online. You know, sometimes you got to take an L in a divorce for your own sanity and peace of mind. And that's where Christine was. Christine Woolley was like, to hell with it. Like, I'd rather be gone, good riddance, and you can keep it because it ain't worth my mental peace. So therefore, Cody kept that. And he divided the acreage. It's like 14 acres. And he, like Robin got this big partial. Uh, Janelle gets a big partial. And Mary gets two piddly little acres. And then Cody gets the other four acres. And I thought this was just like so cruel. And I really hope Mary has like amazing self-esteem. I hope she has done all the work that she looks like she's doing online on herself because she has become the hero of this, of season 18 far and away, even though I'll get to it. There's some underlying tension for sure between Mary and the other wives, but he, he basically breaks down to Mary what it comes down to. She she says this is she only has one child. She only has one child, Leon, um, who is transgender, who Cody has no relationship with. That's like publicized online. And so therefore, Mary gets less. And Mary's like, I know exactly what you're saying. I have fewer kids. I get less. You know, that's exactly, I know what you're getting at. And he's like, no, no, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. You know, I'm going to leave it to all of my children, maybe. But things change in this family so fast, I might move. There was a lot of little nuggets, I thought, in this season finale. They might move. Robin dropped, I don't know if I'll be with Cody. I mean, you know, she said, I don't know if my, if, if Cody and I will be together forever. And I'm like, I, I was surprised to hear her say that I was. And is there any scenario where we feel that Robin could leave? So they're talking about the, the, the division of Coyote Pass and Mary informs them that she's moving back to the bed and breakfast. It needs her attention since her mom died. It's calling her. And 
I don't blame her. She's being mistreated and not fairly treated with the Coyote Pass division. And then she goes, well, I got another, you know, well, basically that bombshell is the bombshell where, and and Robin begins to like melt down and cries and walks away. Now, a lot of people felt like in that scene, Robin was walking away, walks down to this like kind of little pond that they have because Robin wanted the cameras to chase her. Robin says on camera, she's so overwhelmed with now all the sister wives are gone. Because even though Janelle hasn't like officially told Cody like their toast, it's pretty much implied. She walks away. She has to gather herself. She's sobbing. She's living up to her name, the old sobbing Robin. And then she comes back to the picnic table where they're all sitting. And that's when, I mean, Mary goes toe to toe with Cody. Mary goes toe to toe with Cody about, you know, well, of, of course I'm leaving because what? You know, what? why would I stay in a loveless relationship where you're not doing anything for me, where nothing's going to change? And Robin goes, you know, I just want to scream. I want to yell. Wouldn't, because Robin's like so upset about this whole situation. And, and Robin implies like she wants Cody to handle it differently. And if she could scream and yell, she would. Like, Sobbin, start yelling. Let's like Robin lose it. Don't we want to see Rob Dog go nuts? I do. Go nuts on Cody. Um, and then Cody, of course, in this just like Freudian slip or just this, like, just the, the way he acts or whatever goes, puts his foot in his mouth so much by saying to Mary, to her face, well, you know, it's been easy to act. You know, I've been, I've been acting and the, the act is really easy. And she's like, acting, what? Like, this is you acting like you like me. You, you want nothing to do with me. You don't call me. You wanted me to live in the barn dominium above your cars and like dirt bikes. And he goes, well, you know, it's a, like, a, it's a performance. You know, it's, it's like, <laughs> I, it was a performance acting like we were all good. Oh my God. And then the two, you know, Robin and Cody sitting there with their matching horse rings that are each thousands of dollars. If you haven't seen, they replaced their wedding bands with these like horse rings. They look like masculine males rings, but she has one and he has one. And um, I think, I don't know if they're David Yerman, but anyway, they've replaced their wedding bands with these horse rings and they're sitting at the picnic table looking at her and he's trying to backtrack from saying that he's acting. Um, And, you know, she, she goes back and forth with him toe to toe that, you know, like, I'm not interested anymore in pretending. You have let me know loud and clear how you feel. And I figured it out a little bit like, Poor thing, 32 years. But, you know, we learn when we learn. And he's like, yeah, good for you. And then we begin to wrap up season 18, episode 14, the season finale. And he goes, I hope you find, I hope, Mary, you find peace. Because I have. You know, <laughs> this dude had lost an ounce of sleep. He is so done with Mary. And Robin is there crying to the cameras. Going, I, you know. I just wanted to be on a porch with my sister wives. And, you know, I wanted to sit on a porch with my sister wives. The epic line. And I, like, the thing is, I, you know, again, I don't dislike any reality show people. I don't, sorry. I don't dislike Tom Sandoval. I don't dislike Raquel. I mean, people make mistakes all the time on TV and in real life. Um, you know, I, I get Cody is insufferable for sure. Whether there's some redeemable qualities about him. I thought on that Mormon podcast, if you haven't seen it, he did an interview on a Mormon YouTube show. I actually thought of the Mormon YouTube show. It was long for him that he was sort of the most vulnerable and real he'd ever been where he, he talks about the mistakes and he feels like the show in a lot of ways was a mistake, but basically they're in it. So they're going to stay in it. Um, you know, Robin, so Robin sits there and sobs to the cameras and just says, you know, she wanted to be sitting on a porch with her sister wives at Coyote Pass, but she, you know, reluctantly has let Mary go. And, you know, I, I, I good for Mary. I, I mean, I think it just was such an episode where Mary stood up for herself and, you know, Robin has her famous line. And then we cut to an incredible tease to the one-on-ones. Now people are already up in arms because Suki is the returning host of Sister Wives. 
Suki is a television host. I researched her a little bit last year. She did the one-on-one. She's done them, I think, for a couple of seasons. And people feel like she doesn't ask the hard questions. She doesn't, you know, people feel like she doesn't watch the show. She's not a fan. I agree. It would be awesome to see, uh, like, diehards, people that really went in for the research and asked the questions that we want to know. But I also feel for Suki because... um, there's probably a lot of things to this. Producers probably don't want her asking certain questions. They probably tell her, don't ask this, don't ask that. Suki's just the messenger. So I hate seeing people come for her because, and not only that, like I, I've said this all along. I mean, there's so many things that are not filmed at this point with Sister Wives, including like the private conversations. Most of the private conversations that Mary and Cody had about the demise of their relationship, he would not let be filmed. He didn't want it out there for the public. That's how awful, cruel, whatever, raw they were. I think that they have a lot of negotiating power at this point. This show has enormous ratings. I've said it all year. I think some of the highest ratings they've had ever. Um, They're not going to let this, you know, producers are going to give them a lot of grace in what they want and what they don't want, because look at what we tune into, right? We we put up with getting old flashback scenes over and over and over because these people are fascinating to watch. But I I don't think you can blame Suki. They certainly tease like Suki's going to ask some of the hard questions. We see Robin kind of lose it at Christine. We see David Woolley come out. We see um, Janelle talk more about where her relationship is at. So it's going to be such a great one-on-one and I believe we'll get two parts of the one-on-one. So I cannot wait. Um, But what did you all think of last night's episode? Oh, so good. On Wednesdays, I do TLC talk. Be sure to be subscribing to this podcast because there's a lot of tea coming out of the TLC world and Sister Wives. By the way, Janelle and Christine Brown sat down for an interview recently this week. Christine revealed new relationship details about her marriage with David Woolley. I'll have those on Wednesday show. Is Darcy and Stacy canceled? And Thousand Pound Best Friends. I have some exclusive tea that I will tell you about that show as well. There's a lot of shows on TLC I'm going to reveal on Wednesday that have been canceled and some that have been renewed. We'll get into those. Who's gone? Who is back? But what did you think of Sister Wives season 18, episode 14? I mean, Mary finds her voice. It was good last night. You can find me on social media at the Sarah Fraser Show on TikTok, on Instagram. Let me know your comments or join our Reddit, the Sarah Fraser Show slash R slash Reddit. All right. Bye, everybody.